hello, ahoy hoy, how's your hammer hanging? It's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome back for another video in Ark Survival Evolved. First video of 2019. First video in Ark of 2019 as well. And I've got a bit of a surprise for you. This is my new main base. Well, I say new, it's been around for a while, but I've not got around to recording it, so... Here we go, I'm going to give you a tour of Fister Command, starting with the top floor room, which is my bedroom. Bed here, got a wardrobe, uh, mostly full of crap, I think. Well, there's also um, the artifacts for summoning bosses as well. But, uh, as you can see, it's mostly made of, me well, it's entirely made of metal, at least the uh, inner compound bit is. I'll give you a tour of rests later, but... And of course I've got quite a few teams. Uh, here we've got Akimoto Kumiko. Um, it's named after a uh, another player from a Japanese game that I play every now and then. Uh, she insisted on the colours, but uh, ever since I started playing Ark I've had this one objective to find the smallest, cutest and fluffiest critter I could find, tame it and name it after her. So I did. And of course, next to her is Helix, named after myself. He's not too bad, but uh, could be better. I was hoping to get them both trained up in the snow cave, because there's really high level fish and stuff in there, over level 100. But, unfortunately, they kind of take cold damage as soon as they touch the water, so I need to try and figure that out. I've heard a rumour that increasing oxygen somehow increases cold resistance. I need to... Do a bit of research into that, check it out to see what's going on, but at the moment I can't train them up there, so I have to find somewhere else to train them. Bit unfortunate, but there we go. Uh, a bit hard to see with all the glare coming off the lamps. Uh, we've got Escargo here, my Akatina. Good source of cementing paste, but that's about it. Uh, short round, my Microraptor. Pretty easy to care for, still got all the, well, some of the, uh, Rare flowers, I gave it when I tamed it, so... Still got those, so I don't have to worry about taking care of him so much. Is it here, isn't it? Yes, it is, okay. That'd be all good. Uh, got a few small crates in here. Got some seeds, got some recipes, got some body parts from various dinosaurs. Got some pelts and some keratin as well. But otherwise, nothing really exciting up here. Waddles for Kairuku. Probably one of the deadliest uh, teams I have. Very fast, very lethal. One shots Alpha Carnos, I know that much. So, yeah. Good to have around. Um, immune to the cold, so I can take that one to Snow Cave. Didn't realise that initially. Which is kind of stupid of me, really, because it's a bloody penguin. Of course, it's immune to the cold, so I'll be able to tame that one up soon then. Tame, level up, idiot. We've got Dildo, the Dodo. I. Yeah, I couldn't really think of any better name for that. So, yeah. Level 96. Also quite strong, surprisingly. Doesn't fight very often. But, uh, if it ever needs to fight, it can and will kill. And, of course, Archaeon v Archaeopteryx. Another one that's very easy to tame, because I can get chits in very, very easily. It doesn't eat very often. Well, I do have Dino Food Drain turned right down, so... Doesn't have to eat very often. Plus, chitin doesn't um, decompose or anything, so don't have to worry about its food going off. Drop down to the next floor. This is basically my crafting area. Got a fridge which has um, biotoxin and eggs. That's about it, really, at the moment. Um, I'm not going to look in all the chests, but there's wood, there's thatch, there's flint, stone, crystal gunpowder, everything. Basically all the crafting materials I need. Got a generator here. There's another one up on the roof. But always handy to have. Industrial grill, two smithies. No, two furnaces even. That's for smithy. Fabricator. Everything I need for crafting really. So, handy to have. And then the bottom floor. Um, all of those are ammunition. And that's just sort of random tools, random weapons. I think those two are more random crap. Got some aircon units as well to try and keep the base kind of warm. Uh, now I'm going to show you outside. Uh, 
you can hear that I've got quite a lot of sounds. They're all making quite a lot of noise. Uh, for more keen players, will be able to tell what I've got based, just based on the noise. But uh, yeah, I've got quite a few. I actually did kill off a load of my teams because they're just too much to take care of. But uh, I still have quite a lot. I just realised I left my front gates open, but oh well, doesn't matter. So, where do I want to begin? Let's uh, start with Terry, the Trilobite. Oh, he's leveled up. Nice. I've had Terry a while. Very easy to look after since he doesn't move, just eats berries, so that's always handy. Left in the confines of the base, I did have a complete roof, but to do that I had to have pillars everywhere and it made things very difficult to keep all my teams inside the base, so I got rid of the pillars, except for ones right on the edge, so. There we got MC Hammer here, the uh, Ankylosaurus, my second Ankylosaurus actually, I've got one elsewhere, I'll see that one later, but MC Hammer here is pretty good for local rock smashing, he's leveled up as well, so that's handy, good some health. Got Wobbuffet, the um, Kentrosaurus. Got a bit of a weird mechanic, sometimes they reflect edge, but doesn't all seem to work, so I'm not quite sure how the damage reflection mechanic works, but uh, always handy to have around. Can't ride it around, unfortunately, so after this space tour, I'll set it to wander freely and just let it chill out outside the base. If anything comes and attacks it, well, it's uh, very strong, so it'll kill anything pretty much, really. I think even a Titanus would die against it, to be honest. Uh, we've got Usagi, the um, Prosoptodon, with a bunny costume on. Unfortunate placement of the uh, pouch there. Tell me that does not look like a giant scrotum. I dare ya. And of course we've got Sheila 2.0, the... Uh, that's the second Sheila I've had. The first one... I think I killed it by accident, so... Had to replace it. It's the, um... Admin blink rifle, this thing. I was trying to break things quickly with it and accidentally shot Sheila with it, so... She died, so I had to replace her. Black Sheep Boy. That's a reference to a song by My Enemies and I. Called Black Sheep. Appropriate. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty strong sheep, actually, I have to say. Not very fast, but doesn't need to be, really. It's strong enough to look after itself. Pegasus 2.0, the second Pegasus I've had, because, like with Sheila, I accidentally shot this one. I shot the first one, I should say. I'll, this one's leveled up as well. I'll deal with that later. I can't put off now. Xerneas, the... Um, Megalosaurus, named after a Pokemon from Pokemon X, I believe. Not that I've actually caught it yet, but oh well. And of course, Donna, the female Megalosaurus with the reindeer costume on. Uh, oh yeah, I've got uh, quite a few tech parasols now. Tech Meerkat, Chrome, Tech Sentry, Azure, and Aoi. <laughs> just, just a few parasols, but they're all very strong, as is Bloody, not as here. Uh, Aoi is level 108. One of the highest level dinosaurs. All of them are very much capable of looking after themselves. Very much capable of killing pretty much any predator, really. Midori. Some of you might recognise the name, at least, but I've recoloured her since taming. One of the very first dinosaurs I ever tamed. Tech Stegosaurus. She's still alive. Still going. No accidents with her. And, of course, Stego Reaper here. Stegosaurus with a skeleton costume on. A bit sinister, but there we go. I'll come back to you in a moment. St uh, got Trike Reaper here. Just like Stego Reaper, just a Trike with a skeleton costume. Fairly new tame, not leveled up much, so... And it survived the uh, great killing off, so there's always that. Uh, Indrakafir. I've probably spelt the name wrong, but... Uh, it's a species of prehistoric dinosaur... Well, prehistoric mammal... Very similar to Parasurferium, so... She can't move at the moment because she's completely weighed down by wood. Uh, I think her weight limit's something like 2,000 at the moment. She's carrying like 13,000 of wood, so... Yikes. 
I'll come back to those guys later as well. Uh, got Venom, the Titanoboa. I was going to call it Trouser Snake and try and colour it to look like a penis, but um, I guess Studio Wildcard saw that coming and prevented that from happening, so I decided to go with colour theme instead. There we go. Small things for small minds, I guess. Sentry, the Troodon. Wasn't planning on keeping it at first, but I thought, fuck it, might as well. So I did. I uh, got myself a little pack of wolves here. Got Shiryuki, Lupus, Hayamaki, O'Donnell, and Remus. Good luck if you can uh, figure out all the references, but there we go. Uh, Remus's current pack leader. I guess I'm fine with that. I also love a bear with a Santa hat. I just. Yeah, go figure. Scorpius Lazar, the Pulmon of Scorpius. You're not going to get referenced, don't worry about it. Damocles for Philocolio. Seems like a fitting name since they can drop from above. Then the sort of Damocles is supposed to dangle above from and drop down on enemies, so seems like an appropriate name. Slippy, wearing a witch's hat, because why not? Got myself a nice pack of raptors here. Got Tech Brown Tech Yeah, Tech Brown Raptor. A shout out to Ray Naves Jr., brown man. So I've got him a brown raptor with party hat on. Rapture re no, Rapture Raptor, the skeletal raptor. Alpha One, that's a force tamed Alpha Raptor. Had to be done. She's so damn fast though, that's quite scary. Got Ripper, my original raptor, still alive, still going, still avoiding death, but uh, not very high level anymore. Changed the colours as well. Tech Demon, Tech Shredder, Blue, that's a shout out to Jurassic World, of course, but very much Blue. And Tech Slayer, of course, to complete my current Raptor pack, but we'll be getting more in future. And over here we have some more Predators. We've got Chibi Uta, I might change her name at some point, but she's a pretty interesting Megalosaurus. She's quite vicious, I'm only active at night, so that's the main reason why I kept her, because I don't have any... Uh, I like to keep the interesting ones, and she's the only nocturnal creature in the game, so I thought that'd be worth keeping her for. Alice, the Allosaurus, she's actually my newest tame so far, well, for now anyway. Tames are two days ago, I think, two or three days ago, so yeah, nice to have her hanging around. Carno Reaper, Carnotaur with a skeleton outfit on. Aquarius 2.0. I don't remember what happened to the first Aquarius. It, I know it died, I just don't remember what happened to it. Uh, Uta, the Utaranus. She's quite vicious as well. Handy to have around. And scary sometimes as well. Aegis, the Spinosaurus. Had that one for a long time. I originally had a called Jaws, but I didn't like the name, so I ended up changing that. We've got Death Queen, the Giganotosaurus with rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> had to be done. I just, as soon as I unlocked the rabbit ears, I thought, I'm going to have to put it on a Giga. And of course, we got uh, Apophis, the other Giganotosaurus. Seemed like a fitting name. Rimi Rex at... That's another shout out, that's to Jeremy Dooley, also known as Remy Tim. V-Shades, they just had to be done. It had to go on Remy. All that bling. And uh, we got Tyrant Queen wearing a Tech Rexel and King Mech, one of my highest level dinosaurs. Tech Rex, level 100. Complete badass. And now we go up, and we've got more up here. We've got Sylph, the... I'm not even going to try and pronounce her name, but... Wearing a tech saddle. We've got PT the Pteranodon. I did have a another Pteranodon called Bill, if I remember rightly. Bill was unfortunately a victim of Kentrosaurus. That's how I found out about the damage reflection the hard way, because it uh, ended up killing Bill. Which is a bit of a shame. He just killed a Giganotosaurus as well. <laughs> then tried to take on a Kentosaurus and died. It was quite tragic. 
Pelican, the Pelagornis. Quite fun to have around, quite fun to just swim along rivers on Pelican there, but uh, aside from that I don't really do much with Pelican. Maya, the first um, Argentavis ever tamed, another one of my really high levels, 105, same as me. She's still doing alright. She loves to just eat things. I've got Skylord, my first Tech Kets, and Tech Wings, my second Tech Kets. So, let's have plenty of those. As of course, you can see, I've got quite a few automated turrets around to keep me safe, keep my uh, tame safe as well. Not very need protecting, really, but uh, four that counts. I can't close the gate, that's weird. Can we need close? There we go. So, close that. I got uh, spike walls all around the outside. I got loads of turrets. I think I've got something like 40 turrets around my base. I need to check the ammo levels at some point because they've been shooting a lot so could be running low on ammo. Um, over here got a nice little graveyard going on. Graves for all the dinosaurs that have died although it does need updating. Grizzly was a bear. Oh I executed that one. Charger, Carno, um, Araneo, Fluffy, what was Fluffy again? Oh, Fluffy was a Hyenodon. Pumba, the Diodon, Mini Aegis, Dimetrodon, Baryonyx. Oh, I executed Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, I need to add more graves because I've done a bit more dinosaur killing off since then, but. I have done dinosaur killing in the past because I had too many to take care of. Fiona, that was a uh, Diplocolus, that's one. Cobra, my other Titanoboa. Arthroplora. Sar oh, Sarcosuchus. Wait. Cobra. Oh, Cobra's a Dilophosaur, that's right. Trouser Snake or C Titanobar. Poopa, one, two, and three. Those were dung beetles. I ended up killing those because they kept breaking out of my base. Didn't matter what I did to try and keep them in, they still found ways to get out, so I just got rid of them because they were a pain in the ass. Nut Crusher, my old Diplodocus. Killed by a Ferrazinosaur so long ago now, but uh, that was quite a tragic death. Uconvasara, the. Uh, that was a. Uh, Daedacurus one. I accidentally killed that one. As for 2.0, oh yeah, I remember that one. I was trying to bring back another battle with it, and Azure ended up getting killed by wolves, so I ended up killing and eating the wolves. Bill, killed by Kentrosaurus. Bulldozer, wolf mammoth, killed by accident. And me, <laughs> multiple deaths. Mostly by stupidity. Like trying to fight an Alpha Raptor. Okay, it's getting a bit dark, so I'm gonna change the time of day. There we go. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, and we've got a storm rolling in as well. Nice. Now, over here, I'm just about to make it out, but I've got a little pen over here. So I'm keeping all the dinosaurs I wanna use for boss raiding. First boss I'm going to fight is Broodmother Lysrix, and I've got myself an army of 20 Megatherium, ranging in levels from 76, I think, is the lowest, all the way up to 118 in Sid's bear. Sid's my main man, he's going to be one dealing all the damage, I reckon. Meat Shield and Backup Shield, they're, well, the names are pretty much dead giveaways, they're just there to take the hits, everyone else. I mean, I'm probably over-prepared for Brutal Blitzwix, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. But yeah, I've got all those guys now. One more area I'm going to show quickly. Uh, if I can remember the coordinates for it. TP cards. I think it's 4771. Oof. 
fly myself halfway across the world. Looks like the right area. Um, now I've got coordinates wrong again, but it's this way. I always get coordinates wrong, but yeah. I've been doing a lot of uh, building around since I last recorded, and been deforesting a lot of the island as well. I'm trying to deforest and strip mine the island so I don't have to worry about things sneaking up on me. Makes it easy to find all like explore notes stuff as well, so. Ah, there we go. So this big tech building surrounded by a force field generator. This is a warehouse 13. It's where I keep a lot of my resources. There's seven floors in total. Um, so first floor is wood, second floor metal, third is stone, fourth is crystal. And it's flint, thatch and fibre as well, I think. Here we have Carry Me Senpai. <laughs> Just a dumb name overall. Very old tame though, one of the first dinosaurs I tamed, still going. Still carrying all of the berries I filled her with months ago now. That's lasted all this time, so I'm quite happy with that. Here's Mjolnir, my other Ankylosaurus. She's doing alright. She's helping me gather stone and metal and stuff around here, so that's handy. Ukon Vasara 2.0, my second day to Curious. This one I'm hoping to keep alive. Slasher for Ferrozenosaurus, good for gathering wood. Same with my Castoroides here, Muff. I just... I mean it's a beaver, what else am I going to call it? Give me some slack. And then we've got Emerald, my other uh, Argentavis. Wasn't planning on taming this one, but then I saw the bright green wingtips so I decided to keep it and then recolored it later on to make it even greener. I'm not gonna go inside this building because I don't really need to but it's all tech. Tech walls, tech ceiling, tech foundations, tech lights, tech generator, tech turrets. So very well defended but uh, quite costly to run. Takes up, uses up quite a lot of elements actually to be honest but Oh well, it's worth it. I like it. Looks cool. So yeah, that's basically the tour of everything I've got. Let's whip up the map. Uh, got a lot of a lot of outposts around. Each one named after a different letter of, well, essentially named for each letter of the alphabet. But I use the um, police call signs, or whatever. So Alpha, Beta, no Alpha Bravo. Charlie, Delta, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, pretty much all the outposts are the same, small boxy stone buildings. Outpost Alpha is different because that's the first base I built. And Outpost Zulu on the top edge of the Redwoods, that's a metal platform. Just sort of hanging out on a tree. Got Warehouse 13 here and the main base, Vista Command. The white pin is just for, uh, that's for Lava Cave. I could probably remove that actually now because I don't go there anymore, but. Uh, that one. Remove. Yeah, I've already raided the Lava Cave, so. I've got a outpost there anyways so to mark it off, so I don't need. To to worry about that anymore. But yeah, I've already raided it, I've got the artifact there, so... No really any point in keeping that marker on there anymore. So, back to base. Funnily enough, I do know the coordinates of this one. I say that. Uh, I think it's like that, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm a Dumbass. I say I know the coordinates and I get them wrong. Well, actually, I'm not that far off. I think it's 2138, not 1938. Oh, well. I'm close enough to my base. I can see it. Well, see the area that I've deforested, anyway. But yeah, that's uh, my base. Right at the bottom of White Sky Peak, right near the um, 
blue obelisk. I'll be saving that one for last because I think Dragon's going to fuck me up. Proof my Lithic should be pretty easy because I've got 20 sloths, so. And they get um, a boost to attack if you kill Araneo with them, so. And Brood my Lithic spawns Araneo, so. Should be fine and dandy. I'm probably over prepared, but you never know, just to be on the safe side. Hatchery fair. I used to. Well, like I said, I used to have the full ceilings. I used to keep Maya below down here above the second generator, so I used to have to fly up through the hatchway, but I don't use it anymore, so I could probably get rid of it, but fuck it, I'll just leave it there. Got all me <laughs> guards and things. So. Got a very secure base here, nothing's been able to get in for a while. Used to have Argentifis try and fly in through the top, but since the turrets up, they don't get in anymore, so that's something. Although when their dead bodies fall down, the predators go mad and just devour the corpse. So. Have to watch out for that. But yeah, that's a uh, tour of um, Fister Command, as well as Warehouse 13. Join me in the next video when I'll be fighting and hopefully killing Broodmother Lysrix. After that, probably taking on Megapithecus once I've got my uh, tame sorted without thinking of going with Raptors for Megapithecus, but I might change my mind. We'll just have to see how things go. I'm going to use Broodmother Lysrix as a kind of a litmus test to see just how tough the bosses are. Because I've heard they can be pretty damn strong. So yeah, join me for Broodmother Listrix then. Until then, chill.